if you wanted like a darker looking shirt, you could uh, drop the saturation and you got kind of a more gray tone, earthy tones. Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to do a shirt changing effect today. So uh, it's a fun little thing to do. I got to change my shirt a few times because we're going to do the Brady Bunch intro soon. And to do that, I needed to make a bunch of different faces. But I thought it would be more fun to change the color of my shirt via editing than to change clothes and everything every time. So uh, we are just going to do that real fast. So I'm going to grab just a little section uh, of this. Just It's just really just me looking like a fool, looking all different directions. Sometimes I look angry, sometimes I look happy. Uh, we'll go with the angry one for this one. We did the happy one for the Vegas Pro one. So um, now we're going to grab the shirt color with the secondary color corrector. And you just go to your video FX tab and you type in secondary and then boom, pops right up there. You grab the default and drag it on. Now it comes up with a lot of options, don't worry about that. What you need to just worry about is the select effect range. Grab that and then grab the kind of generic blue part of your shirt. You'll need a bright color shirt and a bold color shirt for this to work. It doesn't really work if you have like a shirt that's kind of splotchy or a shirt that's really dark color. It's got to be kind of a brighter bold color to really to just easily work without issues. Uh, and if we hit select the show mask button, it shows us what we actually have selected and which is very little. We have very little selected. This is just a little bits of blue on the shirt there. So we want to open that up. We want to select more. So if we go to the limit luminance, we want to uncheck that. And if we go to limit saturation, we want to uncheck that. And that almost gives us the whole shirt there. We need to go to the, to the limit hue and uh, leave this enabled. But what we want to do is open up the width and grab more blue without grabbing parts of my glasses. So if I open up the width too much, you can see it grabs way too much, including uh, especially very quickly parts of my glasses. Uh, so let's close that up there to my glasses disappear. But the problem is there's a very thin line to where the, there's a sheen on my glasses that we don't want into where the shirt starts to disappear. So we'll try to get as close as we can on that. Uh, but you'll see there's still moments where my glasses appear. That's not a big deal. Let's fix that real fast. So leave everything how it is in this. And we'll just go to, let's see, Bezier masking. And when you find it, you just click and drag it onto your clip there. And then you want to just put it over the part of you that's going to be uh, color corrected. So you, you want to keep it low. You can do motion tracking if we need to do motion tracking. There's a whole nother tutorial about that. This one doesn't need any motion tracking. Really, my glasses are up here. Let's find a bad shot for it. My glasses are up here. You see the, the, the white up there. And my shirt is down here. So if we put the shirt lo if low with enough breathing room in case I kind of bob up or something, kind of check it here. There we go. Now we've never got glasses involved. And only the shirt. So now um, with the Bezier masking we can go to these general options and hit mask effect only and it'll only mask the effect before it. So uh, now that's kind of creates a cool little x-ray effect right like that's kind of neat. Uh, let's delete this audio here so it doesn't cause a problem. So that's pretty promising. We should be able to do something with that pretty easily. So if we hit this FX button and go back into the effect, and we select on the secondary color corrector in the effect chain, then uh, when you scroll, um, you don't have to scroll at all, actually. Go to Show Mask, rem uh, remove the mask, and now the mask was just to make sure that we had what we wanted selected and nothing else. So now that we know what we have selected, we can go to this Rotate Hue, we can rotate the hue. You can actually change the saturation and the gamma and the gain and the offset of all these too. So if you wanted like a darker looking shirt, you could uh, drop the saturation and you got kind of a more gray tone, earthy tones. Um, you could brighten it up with the gain, uh, make it look a little fluorescent even. Um, change the offset of it, the alpha, really customize your shirt there. 
All right, and that's it. That's how to change your shirt color in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. If you ever decide to purchase this software, if you do so through my affiliates link, that helps me out a ton. There are lots of helpful links in the description. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.